Welcome back. We are joined now by an olive oil expert. Is that is there some sort of like oil, olive oilologist or something? Is there, a, there you know what are. is it called? There, well, I don't know their technical <laughs> name, but there is a group right. of people that taste olive oil all day long and out of little blue cobalt cups and it's a thing. It is. A, it's a big thing. Stephanie Harmon and your business is called Tell Everyone. I love the name of your business. Bumble Olive Oil Company. Bumble Olive Oil Company. And you have a retail location, but you also ship all of your products all over the place. And again, we'll link to our website because your website is very in instructional too. I felt like I was learning something when I was on the site about olive oil. I mean, I don't know how much I've really thought about it before. How did you get into this business? Well, you know, in 06, the first store started in Berkeley. Um, and since then, there's about 300 stores now. Mm -hmm. It is kind of a new concept, a new model. And what is the model? Talk the about model that a little bit. The model is, um, and you know, contrary to grocery store purchasing, which you can still purchase wonderful olive oil in grocery mm -hmm. stores, but this model is really about knowing where the product's from, tasting the product, and you actually can select product based on how you cook. Which, which, what you want to do, and I, I said I've never. When I first saw the store, I was just my curiosity was. It's amazing. So you do tastings. That's the thing. I mean, I don't know I that do. I know the difference when I'm trying different olive oils. So you, that's the best way to to know what your favorites are. Well, and it's okay. Let's just start. The education to us is the most important thing. I would think you have to spend a bit of time and telling people why they need to know more about their olive we oil. We do, and, and we love that because, you know, the health components of olive oil mm -hmm. are tremendous. If you have good olive oil, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people are looking for the benefits of olive oil, um, but the products they're buying really aren't doing much for them. So it's what gets us most excited is that you can come in, we walk you through tasting, um, and depending on what you're looking for, if you're looking for an olive oil that takes a lot of heat because you like to saute, if you're mm -hmm. looking for an olive oil for the health benefits, for osteoporosis or for the heart, um, we can steer you in that direction too. And then also, or the kind of olive oil that you're going to be, you, you know, showed us, you've got cupcakes, if you're going to be baking, there's just a different product for the needs that you're going to have. And talk about some of the benefits of olive oil, health benefits. Oh, boy. And by the way, the Mediterranean diet, like just last week, was picked as the best diet. So, well, it's yay been, olive oil. It's been studied since the 70s. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, more and more, the more you learn about it, um, olive oil being the main component that really is what gives you all the benefits. My favorite thing about olive oil that you hear very little about is a component called oleocanthal that, uh, that is in the olive oil. It acts as a natural ibuprofen in the body mm -hmm. to reduce inflammation, um, in particular breast cancer, um, prostate cancer. It also um, helps the body absorb calcium for osteoporosis. Amazing. It is very amazing. So when we do a tasting, let's just we'll kind do. of get to, does olive oil cause your hair to be thick and shiny? Because um, that is the genetics. Me, <laughs> I'd be slamming the olive oil. Um, it is, I am genetically blessed. <laughs> My mother has got Beautiful the thickest, hair. yeah, she, um, I was going to buy a case. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, and people come in and they're like, oh, you know, we measure an olive oil and polyphenol, okay? Mm -hmm. Polyphenols are, if you looked at a pie chart, that would be the antioxidants in olive oil. Mm -hmm. Oleocanthal makes up about 35% of that antioxidant, mm -hmm. um, and that's the thing that makes your number higher or lower. So we're going to start off with a low polyphenol number. Now this would be something you could use in salads. and. Mm -hmm. Um, so I won't take you through the whole thing, but you do, there is a method, you warm it and <laughs> sip it, and, but we're just going to kind of do this a little to okay. get it a little warmed up. Just like a glass of wine. Yes. Okay. Uh, people do walk in and get disappointed. Uh -huh. They think we sell wine and then, but we, you know, right. it's not wine, but it's just as good. Okay. So then you sip. This is considered a mild. It's in the 100s. But it's Ooh. fresh. Um, these were all just produced about eight weeks ago in California. As, and uh, do you get your olive oil from different places? It's what makes or? us so special. Uh -huh. We follow the crush. It's produced two times in a year, and we follow that in our building. So in the northern hemisphere, the winter months, that will start coming in. These already came in. These are early harvest. And then in the summer, we'll have southern hemisphere, Chile, Australia. So it's always extremely fresh, which is important. 
All of our olive oils are also produced the same way. To the mill within four hours, no more than 67 degrees of heat on one cold press. So you know it's a quality um, product. Okay. So then same thing, you can warm it up a little. Mm -hmm. Now this one I want you to be a little careful. We're now moving into the 500 polyphenols. Okay. Put it in perspective, grocery store is usually about a 50 to 100. Okay, so this, so this is, is a be... big oil. It's considered robust. Robust. So you take a sip. Now, oh yeah, I feel that one. You're going to get and, a bitter and a pepper. Uh -huh. That's the oleocanthal. You can okay. actually taste the antioxidants in olive oil, which is wonderful. You know, so there. it's very bitter, very pepper, and a little so bit you're going to feel it in your throat. Right. Now this one is a 614. Um, <laughs> maybe one percent of the planet consumes oil this high in poly. You can saute in this. Um, this is for someone who loves to bake with olive oil, and the joy is, is that once you do, the bitter comes out. So once you're you, just, it once you put that bacon, heat on it, the but then okay. consider it this way. If you start with a high poly and you put heat on it, you're going to end still with a high poly, delicious, healthy oil. So okay. be careful with this one. What's you don't even happen? want to warm it up. Okay. You'll oh, see. No, too late. <laughs> too late, Stephanie. Um, okay. This one will actually leave it in your throat in a minute. It'll catch right. up. Yeah, no, I... Very, oh, I'm feeling it now, yes. and there it is. And it'll it'll be very tickly in your uh -huh. throat. Actually, oleo is uh -huh. olive in Latin, mm -hmm. and camp is sting. So that's so where it gets the name. When you're choosing, when you come to the store and you're choosing this, you do this kind of thing. You you put out a few of them. You talk about what their purpose is. What what? How do you use the olive oil? and then and kind of go from there sure and i mean this is the we call it the serious part of our store mm -hmm. um, i have 29 plus flavors of balsamic vin vinegar um, all from the same family in modena italy they've been producing for four generations the whole wall is organic and it is delicious we have cup lickers as we call them people who just <laughs> lick the cups um, so there is a fun component to the store too where we have infused oils and i brought a strawberry basil combination so you can but really? let me just say, I have people who come in and the first thing they say is salad. It is so beyond salad. And that's why, you know, we are doing the um, festival, the wine mm -hmm. festival, and we are going to have chefs preparing food to show oh. you. Um, for instance, Emily Caruso, who has an amazing blog called Jelly um, Toast, made these blood orange blueberry muffins. Oh. They're amazing. Um, Liz Fowler from The Savory Sweet made these chocolate um, peanut butter, it's dark chocolate balsamic, um, mm. and there's a little peanut butter center. They look beautiful. And they're basically vegan because the balsamic acts as the eggs. So, so what, what we want to let everyone know is your website, um, we're going to uh, link to our website, which is fullplate.tv, and your website is Bumble Olive Oil. Company.com. Company.com. And the recipes for these are on there as well. Right. So you can actually do that. All right. And um, But let me say, mm -hmm. if you call the store, yeah. we will take all the time in the world to find out what you're looking for and send it to you. We have smaller sizes. So you, you, there's something there for everybody. Everybody. Sure. All right. Thank you so much. And when we come yeah. back, we're going to make some the best popcorn ever. That was really good. The first one. I'm the first one. <laughs> <laughs>